Hey guys, welcome back. In this session, we are going to cover the different types of AI, characteristics, क्या होता है AI का. Then we will move on to the various examples of AI, कि कहाँ पर AI actually use किया जाता है, जैसे NLP हो गया आपका, computer vision. We will also talk about cognitive computing. So now, in total, in this chapter, these two parts are quite important. जो ये दोनों चीज़ हैं, it is good to know them, but focus on this part more. So before we begin, if you are on this channel for the first time, my name is Akar Singh. I graduated from IIT Bombay and I'm currently working as a software engineer. So the domain I work in is natural language processing. Now I know since you are started to study for AI class 11th, अगर आपको कोई doubt आ रहा है, please feel free to connect with me on Instagram or maybe Telegram or you can also comment under any of my videos so that I can solve your doubts there. So my Instagram handle is Akash 7.7 .7. the telegram group link is in the description of this video so you can connect with me there so let's begin with today's session by talking about various characteristics of AI AI ke thode characteristics hote hai how does an AI work AI ke specific features kya hote hai so we need to understand that AI is autonomous basically agar aap ek washing machine loge to washing machine mein aapko hamesha koi na koi steps dalne padenge you want to choose ki how much water to put in so that need some human intervention but since AI is autonomous humans ka intervention is a necessity nahi hota AI has the capacity to predict and adapt so agar aap usko train karte ho it will be able to predict ki aage kya hone wala AI is continuously learning just like humans do AI is reactive so basically if you give a new condition to AI or if you put in a new fourth uh, event in front of AI, it will react accordingly. Its best example is self-driving cars. AI is also futuristic. I don't need to tell you that. It is already the future now. Okay. So those are the characteristics. Now let's look at the types of AI. You can come across AI from which So first is data-driven AI. Generally, this AI work is so much that you provide data provide karo and it will predict something for you. It can be like weather prediction, it can be stock prediction, it can be even earthquake prediction, right? So data driven AI works on data. Autonomous systems ka matlab hai, uh, the systems which take in your surroundings using the sensors or cameras and then try to react to the surrounding without any human intervention. Again, the best example would be self-driving cars. दूसरे एग्जांपल होते हैं स्पेस प्रोब्स जैसे आपने मार्स पे रोवर भेजा है या फिर देयर इज अ फ्लोर क्लीनिंग रोबोट नेक्स्ट टाइप ऑफ एआई इज रिकमेंडेशन सिस्टम सो नाउ वी ऑल यूज नेटफ्लिक्स Amazon Spotify आपने देखा होगा ये आपको सारे रिकमेंडेशंस देते हैं इफ यू हैव वॉच्ड पर्टिकुलर काइंड ऑफ मूवी तो आपको एक दूसरी काइंड ऑफ मूवी का रिकमेंडेशन मिलेगा अगर आपने प्रॉब्ली फुटबॉल खरीदी है तो मे बी यू विल गेट a suggestion of buying messy poster or maybe if you like uh, probably Eminem to aapko Drake ya Weekend ka suggestion aega. so how do these recommendation systems work first of all they find out users that are similar to you for example this is a male this is a female the age is 22 yaha par probably 23 they, this guy stays in Delhi and Mumbai so somehow they are similar they stay in uh, the better cities uh, the larger cities of India, age group bhi thoda same hai. So it can happen that they both have similar taste. So if she has watched a particular movie and she has also watched this movie and this guy has also watched this movie, to automatically jo movie hai, ye isko suggest ho jayegi because they are kind of similar users. Now ye condition jo maine diye, that is very random. Jab ek recommendation system use hota hai, bahut sari different conditions hoti hai, not only these. So this is another type of AI that you use in daily life. Another type of AI is human-like AI, which you use in car productions. If you look at Tesla ki factory, dekhoge, mostly they use human-like AI. They perform at very good speed. They can work day and night, 24-7. Wo kaam kar sakte Their unki accuracy is very good. So since they can work 24-7, they are better than humans in doing monotonous jobs.
Now what is cognitive computing? So first of all we need to understand what cognition is. Cognition is the ability to see or hear things. So cognition is always related to humans. Humans are cognitive because they can see, hear, touch, feel. They can think about it and then they can react about it. Right? So this is a process. Aap koi bhi sensory organ se information under lete ho, your brain thinks and then your body reacts. So what scientists and engineers try to do is this cognition process, they try to change it into something which computers can understand. So for example, your computer can see using cameras. It can also hear using microphones. So this is the input part. Processing may bhoat zyada different cheeze ho sakti hai, but this entire thing acts like a human brain. And then the output is your outcome or the end result. So cognitive computing is nothing, but when a computer tries to mimic the ability of humans to think and react, So, inka sabse bada example hai, IBM Watson, DeepMind, Microsoft Cognitive Service. So, what they do is, they process the signals, they process the inputs, and then they help humans make some decisions. Zaruri nahi hai ki jo thought process kar rahe computers, cognitive computing. It is not always right, but it can be useful to humans. For example, I can tell you, uh, air aircraft autopilot right autopilot cannot fly the plane on its own but it needs it can help the pilots to uh, maneuver the aircraft properly now we have talked about ai ai ki kaun se features hote hain what are the characteristics of ai we also saw uh, various types of ai now we need to understand how can AI interact with humans? Now we know there is something known as human language, English, Hindi, French, Punjabi, then and so many other languages. And we have computer language. Now computer language is what? Binary language, right? It can only understand things in terms of ones and zeros. Why? Because zero is off and one is on. And an electronic component can only have two states, right? Ya to switch on ho sakta hai, to switch off ho sakta. So this is the reason we use binary language for computers to understand. So jab in dono language ke peech mein translation karna hota we try to use natural language processing. So natural language processing is nothing but it is defined as the process which analyzes the human language and makes the computer understand it. So natural language processing ke bahut zyada applications hote hain jaise aap kisi bhi document mein se information nikal sakte ho a text can be classified as good or bad happy or sad question answer up kar sakte ho agar aapne pdf dala hai kisi bhi system mein nlp system mein you can ask questions on the pdf there is also known as something known as language translation all these things are done with the help of nlp spell check bhi usme hi aata hai grammatical errors jo correction up ka google karta hai that part also comes with natural language processing. So let's quickly see what are the examples. Text recognition. Generally, when you have number plates in your car, if you have seen traffic signals on your cameras, so those cameras can take a picture of your number plate and using natural language processing, they try to extract these words into text. And this is known as text recognition. Natural language processing se aap text ko summarize bhi kar sakte ho. For example, if you have a hundred page document, aap itna sara aapko read nahi karna hai. You want to summarize it in something like two or three pages only. Or maybe even just uh, 500 words. That is possible with the help of natural language processing. So this can be done in two ways. Either you take the most important parts of a text and then join them together. Right, so this is known as extraction based summarization or you can also remove the redundant part or maybe just take important parts and even further contract it into one single summary. Agar aap chat GPT use karte ho, it has a feature where it summarizes all of your documents. So other application of natural language processing is 
information extraction for example this is the entire text aapne ek nlp system ko feed kiya it can extract some important information from there like what was the text about when is it going to happen where is it going to happen and the agenda all these things agar aap read karne jaoge it will take you about 30 seconds to 1 minute but using nlp immediately you get a text like this and you can read it out in like 15 seconds so this is necessary jab aapke paas bahut badi badi documents hoti hain aap easily important information extract kar sakte ho usse so now since we are talking about natural language processing we need to talk about alexa siri and google assistant right so ye jo sare speakers aap dekhte ho they have a microphone inside them jisse aap human speech andar dal sakte ho then it starts to process it and aapko ek output milta hai how does it work step 1 the microphone takes up the voice aapne agar kuch bhi bola for example uh, hey siri please set my alarm for 7 am right so microphone uh, sorry microphone vibrate hoga it will convert your sound into electrical signals and then some nlp algorithm will try to convert that frequency into words and this is possible these days and finally aapki jo waves ban rahi hain right साउंड वेव्स जो बन रही हैं उनसे एक एक वर्ड निकाला जाएगा एंड देन इट विल बी प्रोसेस टू गिव एन आउटपुट सो दिस इज नोन एज स्पीच प्रोसेसिंग सिंस वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट स्पीच प्रोसेसिंग देर इज समथिंग एल्स नोन एज चैट बॉट्स ना वो चैट बॉट्स आपने बेसिकली यूज किया होगा अगर आप स्विगी यूज करते हो मे बी जोमैटो यूज करते हो एंड इफ देर इज एन एरर और सम प्रॉब्लम विद योर ऑर्डर यू गो टू द चैट बॉट यू टॉक टू इट राइट I have a problem with my order. What is your order number? It is automatically taken. So chatbots are able to simulate a conversation, which means it is not a real conversation. आप किसी human से बात नहीं कर रहे हो, but you're talking to an AI system. So if this can happen via voice or text. So इसके बहुत ज़्यादा applications आप use कर सकते हो, जैसे customer service, as I talked about Swiggy, Zomato, e-commerce में अगर आप Amazon देखोगे, वहाँ पर भी आपको chatbot मिलेगा, and so many other similar applications. सो चार्ट बॉर्ड्स के बारे में थोड़ी टेक्निकालिटी देखते हैं सो आई हैव अ ग्राफ यर द एक्स एक्सेस इज रिस्पॉन्स मैकेनिज्म रिस्पॉन्स मैकेनिज्म मीन्स हाउ डज द चार्ट बॉर्ड रिएक्ट टू यू फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल आई दर इट कैन रिट्रीव द रिस्पॉन्स विच मीन्स आपके पास फॉर एग्जाम्पल फाइव रिस्पॉन्सेज स्टोर्ड है सो रिट्रीविंग रिस्पॉन्सेज मीन्स उन्हीं पांच रिस्पॉन्सेज में से आपको आंसर आएगा वेर एज generating responses means there is no fixed number of responses your ai system or nlp system can create responses right and on y axis we have conversation capability closed domain which means it can only talk about a particular topic for example sports or food or space right and open domain means it can talk about anything with you like whatever like it's like chat gpt so not exactly like chat gpt gpt but it's a good example so which means agar aapke paas panch hi responses hain and you want to talk about everything that is impossible because in panch responses mein aap sare topics ke bare mein discussion nahi kar sakte ho so this is impossible next is rule based and closed domain जहाँ पर आपके पास पांच रिस्पॉन्सेज हैं एंड यू कैन ओनली टॉक अबाउट फूड और ओनली टॉक अबाउट स्पोर्ट्स सो दिस इज वेरी मच पॉसिबल एंड दिस टाइप ऑफ चैट बॉट इज नोन एज रूल बेस्ड नाउ लेट्स टॉक अबाउट जनरेटिंग रिस्पॉन्सेस जो भी चैट बॉट जनरेट करता है रिस्पॉन्स अबाउट अ पर्टिकुलर टॉपिक इट इज नोन एज इंटेलिजेंट मशीन नाउ एनी चैट बॉट दैट कैन जनरेट रिस्पॉन्स फॉर एनी ऑफ द टॉपिक्स इन द वर्ल्ड इज नोन एज जनरल एयर सॉरी आई गिव यू रॉन्ग एग्जाम्पल योर चार्ट जी पी टी का एग्जाम्पल यहाँ नहीं आएगा इट विल कम ओवर यूर वाई बिकॉज चार्ट जी पी टी जनरेट्स योर रिस्पॉन्स इट डज नॉट टेक्स द रिस्पॉन्सेज फ्रॉम अ प्रीवियसली स्टोर्ड डेटा सो वॉट इज द डिफरेंस बिटवीन द टू टाइप्स ऑफ बॉट्स फर्स्ट इज रूल बेस्ड एंड द सेकेंड इज स्मार्ट सिंस उनके पास ज़्यादा रिस्पॉन्सेज नहीं होते हैं यू कैन स्टोर अबाउट फाइव टू फाइव हंड्रेड रिस्पॉन्सेज इट्स अप टू यू इवन फाइव थाउजेंड बट 
थोड़ा डिफिकल्ट हो जाता है वो सो स्क्रिप्ट बॉट्स आर इजी टू मेक वेर आर स्मार्ट बॉट सिंस दे जनरेट द रिस्पॉन्स दे आर क्वाइट पावरफुल एंड फ्लेक्सीबल यू कैन टेक अ स्क्रीन शॉट ऑफ दिस एंड फाइंड द डिफरेंस बिटवीन द टू All right. So now let's talk about computer vision. What do you see here? So it's a camera, which is taking a video of a New York road, and it is trying to detect what it is seeing. So ये computer जो boxes बना रहा है हर एक area पे, it is trying to detect what kind of an object it is. So using computer vision. a computer can be able to see computer is able to see images and extract information from digital images like videos and photographs where can it be used agar aapne dekha hoga kabhi aapko document scan karna hai right using your apps you can do that using optical character recognition you can scan the document aapki jo document hai uski ek photo banegi and then using ocr or computer vision each of the characters will be extracted and finally a quick pdf mil jata it can also be used in fingerprint recognition now how does computer vision work so first of all you need to acquire the images from real world now images can be in the form of photographs or videos and then some information is extracted from it and then finally the computer makes a decision on it so ye sab cheeze to theek hai but how does computer differentiate between different images how can a computer detect ki uske samne kaun si image hai so let's look at that so we have two images in front of us so let's टेक एन एग्जाम्पल ऑफ अ पी सी स्क्रीन फर्स्ट आपने देखा अगर आप किसी भी स्क्रीन में बहुत क्लोजली देखोगे तो आपको छोटे छोटे बॉक्सेज दिखेंगे राइट द फर्दर यू गो इन टू द इमेज यू विल बी एबल टू सी स्मॉल बॉक्सेस नाउ दीज स्मॉल बॉक्सेस कैन बी रिप्रेजेंटेड एज द पिक्सल्स इन एन इमेज राइट अगर आप इसको एक ग्राफ के फॉर्म में प्लॉट करोगे राइट ऑल ऑफ दीज हैव वैल्यूज ऑफ वाइट 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 यहाँ पर अगर आप देखोगे द वैल्यू इज ब्लैक यहाँ पर द वैल्यू इज ब्लू यहाँ पर ग्रीन है राइट सो दीज स्मॉल बॉक्सेस आर द बेसिक यूनिट ऑफ एनी इमेज और एनी डिस्प्ले दिस यूनिट इज नोन एज द पिक्सल सो ऑल द इमेज इन द वर्ल्ड वर्ल्ड आर मेड अप ऑफ दीज पिक्सल्स राइट सो इफ आई हैव ओनली फोर पिक्सल्स द इमेज इज नॉट सो क्लियर राइट बट इफ आई स्टार्ट इंक्रीजिंग द नंबर ऑफ पिक्सल्स the quality of my image also increases so which means hamare paas jitne zyada pixels hain hamari image ki quality utni hi achhi hogi so that's why I call the quality of an image as resolution aapne suna hi hoga resolution aapki pc screen ki resolution ho gayi aapke phone screen ki resolution hai 4k images 4k videos so that means more the resolution more the number of pixels now these pixels can be of two types either it can be monochrome monochrome means there are only two colors which is black and white but aajkal hum log black and white pixels use nahi karte hain generally we use colored pixels now colored pixels have three values red green and blue and each of these values is represented by a number 255 means it's very red and 0 means it's black so you don't need to remember this but please understand that har ek pixel ki koi na koi value ho sakti hai for example this can be r 43 which means the value of red color is 43 yahan par aapke value of the pixel is 0 which means it's white no need to get confused it's only for your knowledge so let's take an example of monitor resolution of 1280 into 1024 it means agar aap isko multiply karoge jo bhi answer aapka aayega that is the number of pixels 
what do we mean by five megapixel camera so megapixel means one million pixels so when we talk about five megapixel camera or when we talk about iphone 14 which has 48 megapixel camera it means it can take an image which has 48 million pixels and eventually the quality of the picture will automatically increase right now the next four slides are the most important slides in computer vision which will tell you how a computer is able to understand the images how a computer differentiate kar sakta hai between a cat and a dog not only these simple things but also how self driving cars can work how facial recognition systems work you don't need to remember these words they are kind of difficult to know i understand that but remember this all the things in the world or all the images in the world have a particular pattern associated with it for example if i look at a football right you can see a pattern is there but if we try to zoom in like if we just look at the pixels of these football we will see a pattern there even the computer can see a similar pattern for example we have a picture of a cat now we know that any image is made up of pixels now agar main itne chote se area mein pixels dekhu bahut sare pixel hame dikh rahe so as humans we are not able to understand what these mean but a computer can find out patterns between all these pixels and this is how a computer can detect the patterns now a computer does not know this is a cat but if i take another picture of another cat it will be able to see that yahan ka jo pattern hai and yahan ka jo pattern hai that is similar so it can say that these two images are similar so this is known as image classification this is how your computer can know if the picture is of a cat or a dog or any other animal even your face so now we have understood how computer can detect an image or even classify an image the computer can also localize the image now we know that this is a picture again it has pixels peeche ye background hai now computer is also smart since we are working with computer vision it can detect the difference between the pattern of grass and another object right so itne se area mein jo pattern hai wo thoda different lag raha hai that is why it is able to create a box like this and tell you ki ye jo object hai ye background se different hai this is known as image localization because it tells you the local position of any object next part is kind of similar now there can be multiple objects as well right so if i see i cannot see that but the computer can see that ki yahan par jo pattern hai pixels ka that is different than this pattern and it is different than this pattern and this is how it can detect different objects in the image now if we take it one step further computer can also tell you exactly where the pixels change their patterns so if we have three sheep right like this the computer will be able to draw boundaries on it and tell you ki kaun si object kaun sa object samne hai kaun sa object peeche hai so this is known as segmentation which means division okay so with this we now understand how computer vision works right you can detect objects you can classify objects up multiple objects classify kar sakte ho segment kar sakte ho unko now how is this computer vision used now let's say there is a satellite our satellite has taken about 300 megapixel image of earth from the space right now it had images from the previous year jahan par ek typhoon aaya tha and typhoon ki image uske paas hai and it detected the pattern there now in the new images recent images it can again detect the same pattern right so now the engineers and scientists can say since same pattern is being detected ho sakta hai ki fir se typhoon aane wala same goes for weather and climate event detection 
this is how it can be used in weather prediction using AI. सेल्फ ड्राइविंग कार्स में भी सेम कंसेप्ट यूज होता है जहां पर आपका कैमरा यूज होगा रेडार यूज होगा लाइडार यूज होगा दिस टेल्स यू द डिस्टेंस बिटवीन ऑब्जेक्ट्स एंड आल्सो डीप लर्निंग सो विद दिस वी हैव कवर्ड मोस्ट ऑफ द टॉपिक्स सम ऑफ द टॉपिक्स हैव बीन लेफ्ट बट दे आर नॉट दैट इंपॉर्टेंट यू कैन रीड इट इन योर बुक द पीडीएफ इज अवेलेबल ऑन द सीबीएसई वेबसाइट इफ यू हैव एनी डाउट्स You can connect with me on Telegram or Instagram. I'll be able to help you out there. See you in the next session. Till then, stay awesome. Bye bye.